If you are tech head, you've probably heard about the term fast charging at least once in the past few years, and if you're just getting into tech, you're probably wondering what it is. Well, that's what this video is for. Welcome to Bruni Tech, and this is how fast charging works. Quick or fast chargers will fill your battery with juice in less time than the standard charger that probably came with your phone. That's what makes them different and why so many people decide to use them over their standard charger. A faster charging time and therefore a shorter wait for a full battery. The phone includes a built-in regulator to prevent pumping too much power into the battery and frying it. So how fast your phone can charge is limited by what its internal regulators allow. This of course is affected by the charger you are using to charge your smartphone. For example, your charger may put out 2 amps at 3 volts, but a typical USB 2.0 port will charge at 0.5 amps. So a USB port will charge it more slowly than the charger that came with your device. Even without branded quick chargers, some chargers can fill your battery faster than others. The charge controller in your smartphone protects against dangerous spikes in current. This controller chip regulates the overall flow of electricity into and out of your battery. Lithium ion controllers define the current in amps at which the battery charges by measuring the battery's cell current and voltage and then adjusting the current flowing in. Some use a DC to DC converter to change the input voltage and fancier integrated circuits adjust the resistance between the charger input and the battery terminal to ramp the current flow up or down. Now that we actually have the basics down, let's talk a bit about how fast charging works. Many USB 3.1 or USB-C devices take advantage of the USB power delivery or USB PD specification which has a maximum power output of 20 volts at 5 amps or 100 watts in total. Smartphones don't regularly draw that much power, so therefore manufacturers commonly use a lower amperage like 3 amps. Fast charging standards like Qualcomm's Quick Charge and Samsung's Adaptive Fast Charging purposely exceed the USB specs voltage parameters. That's why your phone is able to recharge in minutes rather than hours. So let's specifically talk about a few quick charging standards used by smartphone companies. Starting off, let's speak about Apple. The Apple iPhone 10, XS, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus implement USB PD, the same industry standard used by the iPad Pro, the 12-inch MacBook, Google's Chromebook Pixel, and Lenovo's X1 Carbon. Intercompatibility is its biggest advantage. You'll need to buy a Lightning to USB-C cable that supports USB PD. If you use a standard Lightning cable with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, the charger will default to the lowest wattage. No matter which USB-C charger you buy, by. You'll have to put up with hard-coded safety limits in your iPhone. Fast charging kicks in when the capacity is between 0 and 79% but stops when it reaches to 80%. So why don't we talk about Samsung? Samsung's adaptive fast charging isn't as commonly known as Qualcomm's more universal quick charge which I'll be talking about next but works in a similar manner to the above standards by bumping up voltage and or amperage. As you might imagine, it only works with certain Samsung devices with compatible adapters that push out 5 volts or 2 amps for older micro USB phones and 5 volts or 3 amps or 9 volts and 2 amps for USB-C along with compatibility for USB power delivery. Phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 support both adaptive fast charging and Qualcomm quick charge making it easier to find a compatible charger. Now let's talk about Qualcomm. Qualcomm's quick charge is one of the most widely implemented charging standards in the market. That's no mistake, it's an optional feature of Qualcomm's system on chips like Snapdragon 845, 835, 820, 620, 618, 670 and 430, which power phones like the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, LG V40, HTC U Ultra and more, but the technology isn't tied to Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors. Any smartphone manufacturer is free to license Quick Charge's power controller technology. Quick Charge achieves fast charging by upping the charging voltage, which in turn boosts the wattage. Quick Charge 4.0 support is still actually very rare right now, and Quick Charge 3.0's voltage range is 3.6 volts minimum and 20 volts maximum, which Quick Charge 3.0 increments or decrements using intelligent 
negotiation for optimum voltage or INOV and this identifies the most efficient voltage at any given point during charging. At its peak voltage, Quick Charge 3.0 can deliver 18 watts of power. Quick Charge 4 and newer have the added bonus of compatibility with USB PD chargers but Quick Charge 3.0 and older only work with Quick Charge certified accessories. Still, Quick Charge's ubiquity means there are plenty to choose from. Qualcomm's website has a partial list of the most popular options. There are also a few other promising Quick Charge standards such as Oppo's SuperVoke Flash Charge, OnePlus Dash Charging and Huawei Supercharge which all run on the same concept as the rest just with varying charging speeds. One thing to keep in mind though is that with quick charging there is more heat generated during the charging process. The more power you push through a device, the more stress it puts on a battery and the more heat it will eventually generate. While quick charge devices are built to be safe, they can still get quite hot. Anyway that's it for the video, if you enjoyed the video, learned anything new or want more feel free to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is released. Leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. Also quick update, the reason I haven't posted in about a month plus is because I have long been working on another video which I decided to push back for a while to work on a little bit more shorter videos but that video will be coming out within the next few weeks. If you are feeling generous and want to help this channel out in producing better content, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. A dollar goes an extremely long way. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I will be seeing you in the next video.